Hello everyone, so today will be a fragrance face-off, a privé battle between two flankers. Today's competitors, we have quite possibly the best release of 2015, CH Man Privé from Carolina Herrera, and of course the 2016 Club Monster Beast Paco Rabanne 1 million Privé. Now both these fragrances say Privé on them, or Privé, that obviously means private or exclusive, so let's see if these actually can live up to their exclusive name. And of course, I'm going to be judging both these fragrances on the typical categories of smell, performance, versatility, value, complement factor. And hopefully we're going to walk away from this video with a winner. Now, I'm not going to lie, this is going to be close. Very close. So, as usual, let's start off with the smell category. Of course, very, very important. I'm going to break it down like this, right? One million Privé, the best opening I've ever put my nose on. I'm just going to say that right now. I don't think there's a fragrance out there to this date that I've smelled that just smells better than the top notes in the opening of this stuff. Woo! That smells phenomenal. It's cinnamon. It's super sweet. It has a little bit of that one million signature bubblegum thing in there, but it has the cinnamon note, which is so spicy. The tonka bean with the sweetness. Hookah tobacco, a little bit of orange in here as well. It smells amazing. I cannot get enough of this stuff. Off the top is phenomenal with the myrrh as well. Now, if we take a look at CH Man Privé, these two are both sweet fragrances, but they do, they do it in different ways, right? CH Man Privé, this has whiskey and grapefruit in the opening. It smells very nice, but wait a little bit because this thing will transition to tonka bean to give it a little bit of extra warmth, has a leathery overtone to it, and it also has cardamom for a little bit of a, some soft, spicy action in there. These two are both amazing, amazing fragrances. Like I said, they smell similar. They both smell phenomenal in their own different and unique ways. This one's a little bit more complex and a little bit more rich and deep, where this one is a little bit more upbeat, has a little bit more of a zing to it, if you know what I mean. So both of these are five out of five in terms of smell, in my opinion. They are both amazing, amazing smells. So I'm gonna give them both five out of five. Okay, now let's go with the performance. Both of these, you will get your eight to 10 hours. This is an Eau de Parfum, or I believe this is just an Eau de Toilette. So pretty good for this one, I guess, right? But you'll both get your eight to 10 hours. They both last quite a long time. However, ah, there's just something about that one million DNA in there that really projects like insane, insane, insane. Within the first three to four hours, this thing is really kicking, has a huge scent trail, a huge scent bubble. This one is a little bit more mellow, a little bit more chill relaxed and a little bit more come closer to you still has great performance but this one i gotta give the slight edge to one million purvey because this thing just projects off the wall crazy huge silage on this so i'm gonna give this a perfect five out of five where i'm gonna give this four points so slight edge so far to one million purvey now let's go to the versatility category of course when are these most applicable throughout the year both of these are colder weather fragrances so fall and winter one million purvey, boom, easy. In the clubs, nighttime, social situations, this thing excels definitely in that. Take a look at this though. This is a little bit more higher quality in my opinion, a little bit more complex and more masculine definitely. This one, I've had things like, oh, it smells like a women's perfume a little bit. Whereas this one is 100% masculine. This I see can definitely be worn like dressed up a little bit, right? If you're wearing a suit or something like that, really good for that. Also great for the work scenario, great for a date because it is very alluring and sexy at the same time. I just find this is a little bit more applicable and I find you can use this for more scenarios than just this because it's more for the club specifically. So I'm going to give CH Privé four points for the versatility. I'm going to give one million Privé three. So they're both even Steven as we roll into the compliment category. Woo, this is going to be big right here. Okay, so compliments, compliments, compliments. I both received very good compliments and these are two very solid in this category. One million Privé in the first two hours blows this one away easily. Wow, there's something about this. The opening just gets people, it works off my skin, and I've called in so many compliments with this thing within the first two hours. However, in the dry down, it is okay. It's not as great as it once was in the opening. Whereas this, give this thing time when the tonka bean starts to creep in, it becomes sweet. It has the leather and it has the soft spicy cardamom in here. This thing in the dry down always gets compliments every single time. You may not like the whisk in the opening, but trust me, in the dry down, this thing will garner a ton of compliments, especially in those close encounter situations. So all I can say, these are both super solid compliment getters. Opening, definitely this one. Dry down, definitely this one. I'm gonna give them both four out of five for this category. They are still tied. Now let's go to the value. This is pretty easy. Both of these are priced in like the mid 50, $60 range. This one is a little bit newer and this one will drop in price to about the same as this. Just give it a little bit of time. So I'm gonna give these both a three out of five. They're both middle of the road for the value category. So guys, let's go to the final overall who won this battle. Let's tally up the scores. These things both came out with a 20 out of 25, which is really, really good. So who wins, right? These are both tied. Who wins at the end of the day? If you were to ask me, Bradley, you have these two fragrances on either side of a room. Your house is on fire. If you can only have time to grab one, which one would you grab? 
CH Privé is the one that I'm gonna say I'm gonna grab because while this is amazing and I love the top notes of this, I can get a sort of a similar smell from One Million, whereas this one, very unique, more masculine, more applicable throughout the year, and I make these lists for a lot of people, guys, right? This one, I can see working best on the younger crowd where this is for everybody, right? This is for every man on this planet can wear this stuff. If you're young or if you're old, it's a little bit more complex and I think a little bit more balanced and well blended. So I'm gonna give the slightest, slightest edge to CH Man Privé wins this Privé battle. However, these two are both phenomenal fragrances. Seriously, go try both of these out. This is one of my favorite releases of this year. And this was in the bombshell of a release for last year. Go check these two out, see which one you like best. So that was it for me guys, hope you enjoyed this little battle video. Let me know which fragrance you thought should have won this battle in the comment section down below. As always, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be going crazy with my content this month. Do not wanna miss it, so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get all the updates and everything like that. And make sure you like, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you later with another video. Peace.